swiftly on Alan Wake. Under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together, we can create something absolutely wonderful. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Wakery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up, but uh, let's try to hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Uh. Always in the light. In the light. In the light. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Ugh. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh, Al. Al, this is not good. That about sums it up. Oh, I am never drinking again. I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song, the Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, what Al, but we're stuck here. Nightingale? They're not gonna... even interviewed Wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there, Brett Easton Ellis? Huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get... Get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this... Oh my god! Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Oh, man. We're sitting ducks with the lights out. Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it. But it all rang true. Impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. It wasn't the booze that made his mind reel. Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. Stay cool. I can get the emergency power on. Here are your things. Wake, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? 
They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light. Check. Cynthia. She lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on, let's get back to your friend. Wheeler, I need you to stay here. What? No. We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list, Maine. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here if the backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted, just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. My hangover wants a pizza. You think there's any way I could order one, Al? My hangover wants you to shut up and get to work. Uh, hello, Mr. Breaker? This is Barry Wheeler. Okay, I... No, uh, she's okay. She's just busy, so she asked me to... Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, I'm a literary agent, sir. I'm just helping her out because she's busy right now. Well, the one you'd most likely be familiar with is Alan Wake. You're kidding. Well, I'm glad to hear that, sir. I'll tell Al you said that. That's really nice. But listen, I really need to make some more calls here. Uh, you got the message, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, thanks, sir. Bye now. Hey, the sheriff's dad is a big fan, Al. Said you're the best thing to happen to crime fiction since James Elroy. I think he was a little drunk, though. Nightingale felt the situation fear. Oh, hell. Whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay?
Hey, Sheriff, your password. Night Springs? What's that all about? It's a stupid joke we have. That Bright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This town can get weird at times. Never this weird, though. You need to bypass the damage control box. What am I, an electrician? Hold on! I'm gonna want explanations, you know. For example, what the hell happened to Rose? She's seriously messed up now. The same thing I think happened to me after I arrived. During this week you can't remember? Oh, I remember now. Barry was in his element. 
making calls, making things happen, even if he didn't entirely know what those things were. He wouldn't let the hot sheriff chick down. Even if every noise he heard from outside, and he heard plenty, made him jump. He had only paused to text Al a message, told him to hurry up. Suddenly, Barry froze in mid-dial. A window broke somewhere in the building, and then the lights went out. my back, wait. Okay, someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's face was furious. The story in the manuscript had been making it stronger all the time, but now the light had set the writer free and hurt it, weakened it, 
It was only a matter of days before the Dark Presence would be strong again, but meanwhile, it would be difficult to recapture the rider. The message was from Barry. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted us to hurry. Okay, Sheriff, I got the keys. Barry? Why isn't he inside? Oh, God! Oh, God! Wake. He's okay. The storefront's blocked. Come on, Wake. Let's go around. We can meet him in the back. We can make it through the bookstore. Hey, Wheeler should be waiting for us in the backyard. Get the hell down or I'll call the sheriff. Oh, hi, Doc. I've got it. Don't worry about it. Sarah, about time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, they'll kill somebody. And over Deerfest. I know. Go back to bed. He's got a point, Wake. Look, this town can't take this. It's me they want. The sooner I get out of here, the sooner you can all get back to life as usual. I hope you're right. Come on, let me get this door open. Wait, you got the keys to the bookstore? Perks of being the sheriff. A girl needs to get around. <laughs> they're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right now, I'm not a big fan of my own writing. Cynthia Weaver worked hard, following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, always giving in to them in the end. 
She haunted the halls of Bright Falls' abandoned power plant. She marked her caches with light-sensitive paint that could only be seen by eyes that had been touched by darkness and saved by light like she'd been. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness. I don't see Barry. Look, wait, maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. Barry got back to his feet inside the Bright Falls General Store and dusted himself off. Right next to the cans of baked beans was a locked case filled with flare guns, and yet here was a conveniently placed barrel of crowbars. Barry's smile widened as he realized that this was the classic movie scene where the hero had to gear up and arm himself to the teeth. Barry threw himself into the role. I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh. I told him to get it fixed. Here this they come. No oh, let's take a break. I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh, I told him to get it fixed. Here this they come. No oh, let's take a break. Free 
fatty acids are good for your heart. Okay, it's open. Let's go, Wake. Wow. We keep them lit all night long on the night before Deerfest. Why? Well, it's tradition. For it to be free, the Dark Presence needed the writer to finish the story. Again and again, the story let it get frustratingly close to the writer without letting it capture him. It was bound by the events depicted in the manuscript, but it could pursue the writer indirectly, put others on the task and stop those who would help him. It took over everything in its path, made them its puppets, and sent them after Alan Wake. We're almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Yeah. There's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. That one saw the light, huh? You didn't like that one? A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. What? What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. Bright Falls General Store is now my favorite place in the entire world. See this headlamp? It's like a superpower. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's my flaming eye of Mordor. I wish I didn't say that. Yeah. Hey, I want a headlamp. Last one. Bastard.
Alice had screamed until she had no voice left to scream. Around her, the darkness was alive. It was cold and wet and malevolent and without end. She was a prisoner, trapped in the dark place. The terror would have burned her mind out, but one thing made her hang on. She could sense Alan in the dark. She could hear him. She could see the words he was writing as flickering shadows. He sensed her too. He was trying to work his way to her. a damn school bus at your head and you're about to take a helicopter ride with someone who may or may not have a pilot's license or clear for departure to Red Springs. God, no pen sheriff. to this. The helicopter's just up ahead. I'll need a while to prep for takeoff. Don't take too long. I want to get out of here.
end to this. Just get me to Weaver, Sheriff. You're taking a big chance on a local crazy lady, Al. I hope you're right about her, or we can kiss this town goodbye. King Kong, mutant alligators, and Alex Casey shoots the place up every weekend. Look, I never even carried a gun until a couple of days ago. Well, my dad used to be a cop there. Tells some pretty wild stories. Stuff like this? No, no, just normal bad stuff. Kind of like your books, Wake. I used to tease dad that he was just like Alex Casey. You've read me. Oh, sure. You're a pretty good writer. A little heavy on the metaphors, maybe. Nobody's ever said that before. We're coming up on the power plant. See the lit building over there? And that's the dam further up the river. I can't land here. I'll take her down the road across the river. Just get me there, Sheriff. something about the chain for the door to open.
Uh, and here's a new song from a band that, that they always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just, you know, one of those things. Anyway, here's Poets of the Fall and their latest single, War. plant glowed in the night. It was close, but I had to find a way across.
The story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story, but the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. You should just go back. 
back upstairs for a cup of coffee while I try to figure out what I'm up to. Well, if you think that's best. Maybe I should just stop here. Or is that too moronic? Is that too moronic? Indeed. Who can tell? It's a fine line between the stupid and the sublime. the logo on the power plant sign. I'd seen a version of it painted all over the area, signifying hidden caches of supplies. Cynthia, I'm a friend. Prove it! Uh, you knew Zane. Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. You can help me. About time. Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you. It's in the well-lit room. Excuse me? What you need to drive the darkness back. The lit room is at the dam. I built the room to keep it safe. Will it help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. Oh, we won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking the rules, young man, and where has that gotten us, hmm? No, I have a secret route, a lit route, an old water pipe. <laughs> Something was damaged at the transformer yard. It's drained all the reserve power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Let me guess. You want me to do it? Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. 
I can't be outside in the dark. Kill switches outside. I have been preparing for these times, the dark tides. You have found my caches, haven't you? You can see the signs. Very few people can. Yes, please. Take what you need. This is all for you, for the likes of us. We we do Tom's work, don't we? Hurry! The switch is on the wall facing the shore. I cannot take you to the well-lit room if the lights in the pipe go out. You must go outside to use the emergency switch. sent me to cut the power to the transformer yard. I was willing to do grunt work for her to get her to help me. I hoped Weaver was dependable. I'd stumbled into this crazy world a little over a week ago. She had been living this insanity for decades. I could see the kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now, I had to find a way to reach it. these things. The transformer yard went dark and dead. Weaver's water pipe passage should now be good to go.
way, young man. Follow me. Come, come. The pipe's empty now. We're ready to go. This way. We need to go. I knew them both, Tom and Barbara. I had such a crush on him. <laughs> such a beautiful man. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. <laughs> and then Tom started writing and, and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. The witch looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. Oh, he was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. Oh, Tom. We left only one thing behind in my game, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me, or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt, knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story you have written, and none of us will survive to see the end of it. This isn't stopped. She'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me. In television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light, but the darkness stays with you. You sustain. This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? Whoa! No! For the sweet love of... Barry! Barry! We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend. Well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay yeah. safe. Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild, as a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor. The chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her.
Sheriff Breaker! Sarah! The crash site looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. to make an entrance wake we were ready to make like butch cassidy and the sundance kid i have a different ending in mind yeah i'm fine thanks for asking i knew you'd be all right how's that the flaming eye of mordor yeah laugh it up funny man didn't we have somewhere to go weaver will meet us at the dam Again. Oh, should I should have kept that you gym see membership. Those lights? That's the elevator we need to take. You can't be a good mind. What the hell is that thing? It's everywhere. Oh crap! There's more than one of them. Nothing moves like that. It's impossible.
Alan, get the fuck. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas? Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. Let's be careful, okay? Oh, jeez, I hate this! Okay, Wake, there's a button over there that opens the door. so we can get in. Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. outnumbered. The searchlight could even be us.
wrong. And it was a foolish chance to take. Don't worry about the noise. We're safe here. I have looked after the well-lit room for many, many years now. There is no shadow in the well-lit room. The power is fail-safe, and all the bulbs are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. Right. during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. Take it, and I won't need to worry about the room anymore. Because 6 and 33 and 118 need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late, and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. I can get to her now. I can finish this.
Pronto Riddle.